create this book, episode two. I did post on my Instagram a hint on my story, so some of you might know that I'm doing... I already did episode one, if you haven't seen that. I will link it below and I'm making a playlist about it. You'll notice that I'm in a different location right now. I will be back in my art room shortly, but for this week I'm not in near my art room. Let's just get right into it. I'm doing five pages from Create This Book, so we have a lot of work to do. Do you smell that? That, my friend, is the smell of fresh colored pencils. Mm-mm. I don't like that. I just got these, and I have to say, they are worth the hype. I've never had such good colored pencils, and they are great. Oh, here is my Create This Book. We're doing a fancy name. I decided to go with my Bella signature with the star, and I picked out some rainbow pastel colors and started coloring. You can probably tell what's going on here, but basically I wanted that end of the A to be like flipped, the rainbow to flip like a weird, I don't know, it starts in reverse rainbow order and it flips under like a slide, I guess, and then comes up into a star. I think you can see it, but I felt like explaining it. I don't know. As a side note, I totally chose this music because I think it sounds like a star. I don't know, it sounds like space vibes or whatever. Okay, and I just want everyone to take a moment to pause and look at those colors. I mean, and take this with a grain of salt because you really don't need expensive products to do art. But as someone that has used only Crayola colored pencils their whole life, and I was completely happy with those, I totally am. But I really wanted to try these colored pencils and they're like $40, which maybe not ex that exp I think they're pretty expensive for colored pencils and they delivered. They delivered all right. They were like very soft and they're just good. I liked them. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so now we are drawing in the sky, coloring the sky. You'll notice I left little white bulbs or orbs in, in the sky. Stars, Marissa, they're stars. I don't know why I did that. I colored those over, so just ignore those for now. But the basic idea here you can kind of see is that I was going from daytime into nighttime. Like we have a rainbow in the daytime and then we have a shooting star at nighttime. Get it? Yeah. Okay. What? I also added a drop shadow to the lettering, decided the sky needed some clouds, and while I was doing that I decided this was missing something, and I got an idea. Ooh, I got an idea. It's me. I, I decided to sketch out a cartoon version of myself because I thought me saying hi with my signature on the first page of my Create This Book might be a fun idea. I don't know. It could be. So that's what I did. I don't know if it looks like me that much, but I tried my best to make it look like me. It's, it's a vague similarity. I'm not the best at drawing people, but I think this turned out like an okay cartoon. Okay, and now we are going to piece everything together. Let's glue that little thingy in, glue it into the page, mod podge it, and this is the final result of this page. We're moving on to the rule box. <laughs> okay, so I don't know why I did an evil laugh with that. That doesn't make any sense. Basically with this, if you guys don't know what Create This Book is, I can give you a summary. The rule box is basically you make a rule and you follow it for every page in create this book. So whatever you say your rule is, whether it's include this color, include this symbol, you have to include that on every single page of your create this book. So this page is kind of a big deal. And I don't know if you can figure out what my rule is going to be based off of what I am sketching out here. I will say that my rule is a little bit more abstract and intuitive. It's more something about how your emotions are or how you're feeling. And I think that something about art that's really cool is that it can evoke some kind of feeling or emotion. So basically, my rule is that whenever I make a page and create this book, I have to incorporate how I'm feeling that day. So then when I look at back at all of the pages, it can kind of be like a diary, kind of, like a artistic diary. So I'm going to be incorporating my feelings, basically my feelings into every single page of Create This Book. And I'm also going to be putting my Bella signature on every page as well. So that's the final look for this rule page. Yay! Moving on to page number three, we are creating a wall with graffiti on it. So this page, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna 
lie, this is not my favorite page, but I have two more pages after this that are like my absolute favorite. I don't know, somehow my favorites came out last. <laughs> I was feeling tired that night. I It was late after work and that was the only thing I could feel. So I thought, let me incorporate that into my graffiti. I'm going to just say I'm tired and be done with it. I also said in my rule box that I was going to incorporate my Bella signature with the shooting star and I proved how tired I was here because I somehow colored in that E with the purple right there. What am I doing? And I didn't even realize until now when I was editing. <laughs> oh, was I tired, all right. The proof was in the pudding, as my dad likes to say, sometimes. <laughs> moving on, moving on from this. I didn't like this one that much. So this one is my absolute favorite. It is the create an unusual superpower. I did use a reference image for this, so I'm gonna link it below so I can give credit to the original artist, but Basically, I'm incorporating my feelings again because it's the rule. I'm a computer scientist, I don't know if you guys know that, so I work full time as a computer scientist, and some days you have more productive days than others. And basically the superpower on this person, girl, whatever, is she's like a technological girl, you know, she, she has a, a technology superpower or whatever, and she's having a productive day because that was my feelings. I guess I had a productive day and I was feeling really motivated and like I was getting a lot of stuff done and thought I was smart and stuff like that. So that is the feeling that I wanted to portray in this create this book page, I guess. <laughs> some highlights to the lips and noticed that the forehead was quite, well, <laughs> it's just, it was too big. It looked like she was just had like a huge forehead. So I decided to add a little bit more stuff to the top of the forehead to make it not look quite so, so big. And once that was done, I got out my glue stick, put it into the book, mod podged it down, and man, this was my favorite. Look at our super superhero. She's just a techno gal taking on technology. Okay, so we're moving on to a music inspired page. So this one is probably my second favorite that I did. I really liked this one. So as for as per our rule, it we have to portray how we're feeling that day. So I was feeling kind of overwhelmed and a little nostalgic, I guess kind of like a bittersweet, sad, nostalgic kind of vibe. And also, I really love Taylor Swift's album, Folklore, and that album is very sad and very nostalgic, and it has, like, some, like, bittersweet moments to it. And I just really love the album. I love Taylor Swift. And I felt like the scene from her music video in Cardigan with the piano when she's, like, in the ocean and holding onto her piano was... I don't know. It, it feels overwhelmed to me. It just, it's, it's overwhelming to be in a big ocean, um, only holding on to a piano. I understand that she's like clinging to her music and stuff like that. But basically I just felt like it portrayed how I was feeling really well. And I thought it was a really beautiful scene in the music video. So that is why I chose to paint this for this page of the book. Okay, we're entering my favorite part. The highlights really brought this one together and I felt like it just like, I don't know, it really emphasized, I don't know, it just made it look, I don't know if it made it look sadder or if it made it look more nostalgic or more dramatic. I just, I really liked it. It made it look maybe more, more like uh, fantasy-like, I guess. I don't know, but I'm, I'm drawing the folklore symbol there and like, adding some outlines. I like it, it looks like kind of like a sketch, I guess. I guess that's the what I was trying to say. I don't know why I was saying it so weirdly. 
But basically I'm gluing this down now and putting it in the book and I just really like this one. I don't know if it's because I really like Taylor Swift or I really like the style that I made it in, but I just really like this page. Yeah, okay, that's the final look. All right, that is the end of the video, guys. I like the way these came out. Comment below which one you liked the best. So we have my fancy name, we have my rule, which is to incorporate my feelings. We have the music inspired page where I was overwhelmed slash sad slash maybe slightly nostalgic because folklore the album is kind of nostalgic. We have the graffiti wall where I was tired. And then we have my productive techno gal. <laughs> Comment below which one was your favorite. And that's the end of the video guys. Subscribe if you want to, otherwise don't, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Oh. Okay, we have the shout outs too. For this week we have Astoria, Wu, Rose's Lover, Alicia, I am Drilla, Tia, Eva H, Yareth, and Perry Artsy. Hi guys, this is your shout out. Thank you so much for sharing my videos last week. You guys are the best. I heart you. If you would like a shout out in my next video, all you have to do is follow the directions that are in the description of this video and I'll give you a shout out next week. And that's the real end of the video guys. Subscribe if you want to, otherwise don't, and I'll see you next week. Bye!